Hi, welcome to NX12 video tutorial, the next one in the drafting series, now that lever. So what do we have here? We have a section view, which is superimposed by just moving it up to that position and the section line is hidden. Some center lines some changed radius and most importantly the breaking of dimension lines. So let's have fun with Siemens and X. Let's start by inserting another new sheet. I could go for custom size that would be with this, without that frame and that header. But I go for A3 size, use template and confirm. You could fill in those values if you want. Then go to our sheet and switch to first angle projection. Go to the base view. I want that lever that's spun hebel and put it right there. And close. Now those lines which are the borders of the fillets should not be visible so select it go to the settings go to smooth edges and deactivate show smooth edges and confirm that edge should be hidden now for the section view go to section view put it somewhere over here drag it down close. So I want to hide this, that and those as well and then move this over here. I need another base view of that lever, should be an isometric view and put it just there and close. Now for the center lines, I will need a circular center line with the center point first, that center point, and maybe this one doesn't matter. This one, set extension individually, and then you could drag it over here, and OK. Now I want to go for a bolted one, bolt circle center line. Again, go for center point, select that center point, and then this circle. This looks good. Could drag this a little bit over here and OK or apply. And another one, again, same center point like this, and OK. And that should be like that. Now I could go for my dimensions. Let's start with the radius. There should be a radius. This should be a radius. That one and this one. Now to change the orientation of those arrows, go to one here, double click, go to that point and another small ribbon will pop up. Press control to keep it visible. Out, close. Now to get that option transferred to this one, Go here and select that inherit dimension settings. And select this one. Close. Same here. Sorry, double click. Inherit from this one. And that's OK. And I need one here. 
and again that arrow should be on the other side so double click go to that point see that pops up press control to make sure it stays visible go for out and close let's add another dimension here from this point to that point at 160 and again from this point to the center of this one at 125 now this should be with a tolerance minus y unilateral yes and you have to go to the settings go to tolerance and make those zeros omitted and close and close and just move it like that another dimension here that's interesting because it selected it here so if you go here and select see it selects that edge over here but I need the drafting line like this okay there is another distance from that center point to this center point it's 15 then there is from let's try to select it this point yes to let's wait to the start point yes and that's the 14 and let's switch this to H7 change it to D change this to D10 close same here from this point to that point 14 again h7 and it should be possible to inherit it from this one and close now let's move this that's this one and move this down it should be possible to inherit this from that one okay now let's add some breaks in the dimension lines. Move this here and move that a little bit up here. Okay, because that break will be controlled by that line, not by that text. So let's move it like that. Select this one go to settings go to line arrow go to break create breaks close then this one and that one create breaks create breaks as well what's missing yeah the surface finishing is missing so go for this one change the value to 3.2 put it just there and close and i'm done so i hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page i want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye